Hey, this is Joe with Gray Bench Electronics. Welcome back to the Pedal Teardown Series, where I take apart new and interesting pedals and show you what's going on inside. Today we have the Bonsai Cold Fusion. All right, here is the Cold Fusion Overdrive from Bonsai Musical Products. If you're not familiar, Bonsai is a brand out of Germany. Cold Fusion Overdrive, this pedal was released approximately sometime like 2008, 2009. Uh, it was one of the original uh, infamous Klon clones, one of the first. It's not a direct clone. Uh, the topology is is quite similar, uh, but lots of values are different, uh, and there are some distinct differences between this pedal and the Klon that do does give it a different sound. It tends to be a little gainier uh, and a little bassier than the Klons, but the overall picture, the overall scope of the pedal is definitely Klon-like, and I think it's reasonable to assume that the creator of this pedal definitely took great influence from the Klon. Uh, as far as the externals, it's in this nice folded aluminum anodized enclosure, Cold Fusion Overdrive silk screen, latching foot switch, nice little chrome bezel here with a three millimeter uh, LED. Knobs are these sort of plastic pointer knobs, top mounted jacks, we have input and output jacks, uh, internal nut DC jack. On the back here, we have the label, Bonds and Music Products by Olaf Nobis, serial number, signature, made in Germany, nice rubber feet, screwed in. Let's go ahead and crack the pedal open. All right, so spoiler alert, I have already been inside this pedal because it had some problems. It came to me uh, broken. This, uh, there is a lead coming off the DC jack that would have been mounted here in the enclosure. And that lead wire comes over here to a little resistor that goes into the board. Uh, that had broken off, I guess, in shipping. Um, so I've already repaired that. There's not a ton of space in here and I don't love using hot glue, but this is one of those situations where you sort of just have to do something because there's a little resistor there and that wire, if it wiggles back and forth, it could break off again. Um, so that's what we did. This is just waiting to get reconnected. Here's our quarter inch jacks. These are a brand uh, that I can't make out. Made in Japan though, for those jacks. Foot switch here looks like just a standard blue triple pole double throw foot switch. Potentiometers here, as you can see, are full size, like 25, 24, 25 millimeter pots. And they are the, uh, I believe, Spanish Piher brand, P-I-H-E-R. The values, this d dual gang pot here, it's a 100K pot. The middle pot here, which should be the tone pot or the treble pot, is 10K. And the pot on the end here is another 10K. Interestingly, it's written on in like Sharpie that this is log. However, the stamping on the uh, the pot housing here says 10KB, which is usually linear. Not sure which one it is there. Seems uh, conflicting information. Uh, so one of the things the builder does, which I don't like, is they are intentionally obscuring the values of components in order to do one of two things. They're either trying to protect their own design from other people copying it, or they're trying to hide the fact that they copied someone else. Um, considering the, I guess, closeness of this circuit to the Klon topology, I'll let you decide which of those two things it is. But the, the tops of the capacitors here, uh, the sides of these capacitors where the values will be written, they've all been obscured. Either it looks like someone just dragged like a soldering iron across these to kind of mess up the plastic. Over here, it's just Sharpie, I believe. The IC here has been scratched off. Um, however, the Klon uses a uh, 7660 voltage regulator probably what it is, or a worker like component. ICs here, these are the dual op amps, TL072 dual JFET op amps. Uh, it's one of those things where the pedal, like I said, topology wise, the way things are connected is very reminiscent of the clone. However, all the values are a little bit different. So is it a clone? No. Is it heavily inspired by? Almost definitely yes. Flip to the other side of the board. We've got uh, the information here written into uh, the design of the board and then under the 
um, the solder mask. Cold Fusion Model CF2. There was a Model CF1. Uh, I'm not sure how they differ, and I'm not tracing this one out. Uh, this was designed apparently by Olaf Nobis and Bonsai Musical Products. It appears that the, uh, the potentiometer shafts here had to be cut down because uh, they are sort of rough. I would hope that that's not the way they came from the Pyre factory. Uh, I would assume that they're just cut down for use with this pedal. Uh, and it did a decent job. There's a little leftover bit that could have been cleaned up, but not terrible. It's not anything that's going to hurt you. There's the three millimeter indication LED that sort of has to be bent over to make it fit. doesn't really fit. Enclosure wise versus PCB didn't line up quite right. Here's a look at the inside of these enclosures. The enclosure is probably the nicest thing about this pedal. Uh, they are these nice folded, probably 18 gauge aluminum, anodized on both sides and the edges. And here's the back panel. Snug clamp for a 9 volt battery. Let's pop that in and out. Here are the germanium clipping diodes. Uh, they are marked ITT, which is a semiconductor manufacturer, or was a semiconductor manufacturer out of Massachusetts. And these ones are marked AA143. I don't know that part number specifically, but considering the lineage of this pedal, I would assume the similarity and the being a germanium diode, I would assume it's a 1 in uh, 43 workalike. All right, so that is the PCB for the Bonsai Cold Fusion. Let's go ahead and put the pedal back together. All right, so that's it for the teardown on the Bonsai Cold Fusion. If you have any questions or recommendations for a pedal you want to see on a future teardown episode, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing. I am Joe from Great Bench Electronics. Thank you for watching.